In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the best plays in the entire game from the shotgun bunt formation in the Seattle Seahawks playbook. And that play is clear out SEL. This is one of the best plays every year in Madden, especially this year uh, with how powerful these outside fade routes are and how unique they are and the fact that you've got two of them in one play. Now, what you want to do here is you want to set your fastest receivers on the outside here. So I put uh, DK Metcalf on the left side solo receiver. I got Tyler Lock on the inside slot. And then I got Philip Dorsett uh, right here. I tied in for these guys. I'm rocking with Greg Olson. And uh, I'm just going to come out and clear out SEO. Now, to do this, to show you this, I'm going to back the ball off just a little bit. But what you're going to see with these uh, streaks is when you motion them out, and you do want to run the bunch to the wide side of the field. So you want your, you want your shotgun bunch to be uh, the trip side on the wide side of the field. Now, what's going to happen is... Uh, against cover team man you're gonna see some things happen now if you guys are new to the channel again my name is Cody and my channel is designed to help you with Madden help you give you tips and tricks and strategies to improve and so the way we do that is through breaking down schemes plays uh, tricks little tricks to beat the meta uh, and so if that's something that interests you I do want to encourage you to click subscribe on the channel uh, while you're watching this so with type of locket route all you're gonna do is you're gonna motion it to the outside you see here if they're impressed man you can throw that to the right uh, and it's going to be a one play touchdown against cover to man. That is what makes this play so powerful. These specific routes, these stock fades are really, really, really glitchy um, in this year's game. Now on the left side, DK Metcalf has a really good beat the press rating. And so if he gets off this press right here, you're going to see, you're going to have a good chance to user catch that. Now again, if the safety is, the, is over top on that specific side, uh, he is going to get there. But what, the reason it's so good from Shotgun Bunch is because you can motion these fades. Uh, and when you can motion the fade, um, it's going to make all the difference in the world. Uh, here, you don't want to motion it in, you want to motion it out. But that's what makes this play so powerful. Um, they can't run man press on you uh, at really at all. Um, clear out SE out again. And you'll see, just gets right over him, beats the press completely, passing that to the right. And you've got an absolute dot uh, from this from this formation. This is why motioning these stock fades really makes a big, big difference. Now, uh, on Philip Dorsett's route, one of the things that I have experimented with um, is just putting him on a on a streak as well, running literally three streaks, um, and you can inside pass lead that streak against the zone. You'll see right here, inside pass lead the streak. And then you can also, uh, with your tight end, maybe putting your tight end on a drag. Now, drag routes are really, really powerful from the tight end and the bunch set. So if you do something like this right here, you're going to be able to pass like that in that window right there to door set. Most of the time, not all the time. You see cover four does do a better job against it. But against like cover three, what you're going to see is this this pass lead is tender. It's, it's really there. Um, right over the linebackers click on and you're just gonna run you're just gonna cut off the ball that's all you're gonna do I'm clicking on and literally I'm just cutting off the ball um, you could even put him on a fade uh, if you wanted to um, with the tight end people love delay fades still but I would drag him um, as I have a quick read ah, didn't, get, didn't quite get it on that one uh, I think he went cover four again but anyways that is um, that's that. So uh, when they run the meta on you with this, especially if you have a speed advantage, you want to have really, really fast receivers. If you have a speed advantage on this, watch what happens. This is shaded over the top. So I wasn't shading over the top originally. But this is shade coverage over the top. Tyler Lockett's route. Pass lead that to the right so it gets that little back shoulder fade. You see the corner will run that far. Um, but... But, and this is what makes this play like probably the best stock play because you don't even have to put the guy on a streak. If they're shading coverage over top, like so, out of man, you'll see DK Metcalf. You have two of them, right? So they've got to have two fast corners because you've got two fast receivers. Watch DK Metcalf throw. Over top, lob, and you see there the corner does run with him. So if they sh it forces them to have to shade coverage over top um, because you can literally beat stop cover two man 
that's what makes us so powerful again let me show you here if they're in trail technique just like this just let them get over them just a little bit click on and you're gonna get that little swerve catch at the backside and you're gonna be able to dot it up no that's why it pays to have really fast receivers the faster the receiver you have the better this is going to work now if they're shading coverage over top though this route to door set on an underneath hitch route or streak route um, against man to man is going to be just fine for you you're just going to sit pass lead that ah, do not do what i just did do not pass lead it to the outside you just want to pass lead it down if you pass lead it to the outside for whatever reason um it, it takes too long the ball does not get there in time so I like to pass lead it down, but literally if they're shading over top and man to man, you're going to, uh, you do need to rehitch Tyler Lockett because if you want to, if he goes on that out route, it's not going to work. So you do need to rehitch, you do need to rehitch Tyler Lockett. But what I love about this play specifically is these fades force the opponent to have to play a certain style of man coverage they can't just play the trail and trail technique man coverage is in my opinion a little bit better um than trail technique over top or um, than over top coverage and then you'll see um this routes the tight end does a really really good job at beating man this year uh this tight end drag just a quick drag right there to the tight end on a bunch does a really good job of beating man-to-man -man. so you're going to be able to beat man-to-man -man with this but you're also going to be able to beat zone so we'll show you here cover three sky and i'll just show you this uh, with that spin with that simple setup there uh, and what you're going to see is you can actually um if you get if you get tyler lockett out there enough you can snap throw these uh stock fades so if i can get him out here just enough i can snap throw it to the right and it's tender it's tender um, I haven't thrown a whole lot of interceptions. Now, this is going to torch cover two. Like, absolutely is going to torch cover two. But specifically, like, cover four, um, some of those routes, if you get him out there, click on, and you're just going to you're just gonna aggressive catch it. That little motion snap right there, a little motion snap on that, on that route is really, really good against zone um, because the zones just aren't going to get out there. Uh, and if they are going to get out there, you're going to be able to throw that hitch route. But you see there, sometimes um, sometimes it does, it does get, get taken away. But um, if they baseline their defense, you'll see here um, it's going to get taken away completely. But you see right there how this 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 streak I'm telling you is just such a such a really um, interesting streak. So what's also interesting about this is uh, from a cover four perspective, if you're just running cover four. If you take that inside fade from the right side, and I'm just going to pass like this all the way over the right. You see there, it can get a little bit tender. Uh, you need, you do need a pull route for that cover four. But literally, what you can do is if you streak door set, watch what happens in the cover four here. Streaking door set. Ah. You'll see he won't always run with him. Um, if I take my tight end here, let's see if I can get this. You might need a route chemistry to do this. There it is. There it is right there. One play touchdown against cover four. So I'll, I'll explain what I just did. So if you know they're running cover four, out routes pull the zones down. And so if they're, let's say they're like, let's say they love to run a cover four. I mean, they, they love to run cover four, right? And you know they're running cover four. You want to run this route combination right here. So if you if you take uh, Dorset and just put him on an out route, what that's going to do is it's going to hold the outside quarter zone. And it's going to give you a window to pass lead Tyler Lockett's route to the right side of the screen. And it's going to be a one play touchdown against cover four drop. That's one of the other reasons why these routes are so good. Um, because if you get up against the right coverage, you're going to see this is just going to absolutely demolish. Now you see here, if you do if you do motion them out, it's not gonna work. So if they're backed off coverage, you you wanna motion them out. If they're not backed off, if they're, or I'm sorry, if they are backed off coverage, you don't wanna motion them out. If they aren't, if they aren't, then you do. Let me show you what I mean by this. So if they press up with you like this, Watch Tyler Lockett's route against man-to-man. -man. You see here, it's going to get over top, click on, and you see that it's the, the safety can get there. So when they're in press coverage on you, as a general rule, unless you know they're running cover four, as a general rule, you want to motion him out. Because if they're running press coverage, you're going to get this animation. 
and you're gonna have a shot at a, at a, at a user catch. I think right there we had a, I think we right there had a bad pass lead on that. But literally, um, there we go. Ah. Gotta get him a little, I think I gotta get him a little bit wider. But when they press up, when they do that press animation, when you do the motion out of Tyler Lockett, it changes everything with this route. Literally, you're gonna get that little um, lob ball that you can hit all day long over the top. So then, cover four, you see we're able to beat that. Now, cover three, Sky. What you'll see here, this PA read. See how he, see how they're gonna run with him. But what they're gonna leave open is your underneath. Your underneath is gonna be open. So you're gonna uh, cover three probably defends this the best. Um, that's why against cover three, I sometimes like to do something like this right here. Uh, where you're running two streaks but typically your underneath is going to be wide open against cover three cover three does defend this this specific play the best um, but you do have your post to the tight end or your drag to the tight end the tight end will be open um, pretty much no matter what against cover three but what I love is what this does to cover four and then Tampa two will show you last and this play destroys Tampa two So Tampa 2, uh, this play literally just obliterates it. Um, Tyler Lockett's route is going to absolutely torch it. Pass lead that to the right. You see there, the deep half can't get out there. Um, now it is tender. It is a tender throw. But especially when you're running this to the wide side of the field. Now if you're if you're running this to the left side, let me show you DK Metcalf's route in zone. I haven't talked a lot about that. Um, but what you'll see here, his route is more... Um, more to give them that threat against man to man um but whichever side the wide side of the field is on the cover two is going to get destroyed by this now again i personally like it to, to come from the bunch uh, you don't have to do that but that's what i like to do but get this guy out there pass leave that to the right click on and you've got a nice dot against cover two uh that's cover two saw so i think that's cover two sink so it's soft squats let me show you cloud flats. Uh, cloud soft squats are probably better than cloud flats, in my opinion, this year. But you're gonna get him out there, and he's just gonna fall away. Click on, sort of catch him on the outside, and you're gonna be able to get a nice dot against cover two man, so or cover two. So that is that is the um, that is the play. That is the uh, play from this bunch. That is just so 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 powerful. Um, Make sure you're running an out route to pull that that uh, corner down against cover four defenses, and you're gonna see you're you're never gonna struggle with cover four defense again. Click on, swerve, catch it, one play touchdown against cover four. You've also got man beaters and zone beaters. On this. this is one of the best plays in the game this year. So hopefully you can add it to your arsenal. It's in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. A lot of pro players are using this play. Um, anyways, guys, I just wanted to. Um, just wanted to share this with you today and guys remember if you're not already joining my discord join the discord it's the best place to get better in the game our offensive and defensive guides are just come out so check your emails you if you if you've already purchased them you've got an update if you haven't purchased them yet pick them up in the description below uh, we've got a full ebook for you coming out in Madden 21 uh, anyways guys thanks for watching and we will see you guys tonight we live stream every night at 10 o'clock eastern time